Steve Burbage here from Window Cleaning Magazine. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you press the bell icon so you get notified of our latest videos. Should you buy something on the basis of somebody saying it looks A, B and C? When a new product comes out, you'll go looking for reviews and comments in forums and on Facebook groups. But you'll always come across opinions based on looks. It looks cheap. It looks really heavy. It looks like it would break. Would you really not buy that product on the basis of somebody's opinion of how it looked? And do you then think that, okay, this product's no good? The word that's missing 100% of the time is the word used. The word used is just not used. <laughs> to get real inside knowledge on a new product on the market, you need to speak to people that have used the product not the ones casting opinions on how that product looks in their experience. I get it. Some people are different and some people get on with some tools better than other tools. I remember personally getting in some hot water with Wagtail when we did a um, video experiment comparing precision tools. It was the liquidator and an S channel, uh, Unger S channel, but uh, S plus and the S Plus channel, which I don't have one at the moment, and a wagtail. And the window cleaner scoring them scored the wagtail the lowest. Uh, and one of the comments he made was, uh, it looked like a toy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got into hot water for that one. I tell you, they really didn't like that window cleaner calling that product a toy. So I get how people can use products and get on with some and not others. I don't get people that haven't tried a product and can't give an um, informed opinion about it. Let me bring in the constructor brush. See this? I've been testing out the constructor brush. Woo! I put a constructor brush somewhere. I can't seem to find it. So, constructor brush. Somebody put something up in a forum uh, asking what the constructor brush in Hydro Blade was like. And then all the silly stuff came. One guy says, I've not used it. It's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. How does he know? Surely you need to eat the Marmite. Next one was great. Load of rubbish. All brushes are the same. They all do the same thing. This guy's a freaking paradox. Yes, all brushes are the same. Like, they clean glass. The constructor brush with the Hydro Blade is different from any other water-fed pole brush. It's a specially designed tool for efficiency. No other brush comes close. Trust me, I've been using it. A rinse bar along the top is not enough. I'll unpack the features of the Hydro Blade on the constructor brush in another video. So one guy says, the brush looks heavy. So I weighed it and sent the pictures compared to the sill brush I was using previously. His comeback was, the sill brush I chose was the heaviest of the water-fed pole brushes from the Garden Pole uh, Systems range. That guy must be this guy. <laughs> You're talking absolutely nothing in terms of weight. Oh, but we're using it all day. It does make a difference. Don't get me wrong, there was a lot of people also posting that do use the constructor brush and were able to um, give a good opinion on the basis of usage, whether that was good or bad. But the next one, the next guy, this guy, oh, this guy, it's just too funny, but he was absolutely serious. This, this, is, this is what he said. This, <laughs> this is, usually, if you're experienced enough and something looks shite, it usually is shite. That's what this guy said about the constructor brush. Ah, he's never used it. No, mate, this is shite. And this must be you. To finish off this video, my message is this. Get opinions from window cleaners actually using the products that you're interested in. And also, on top of that, even better if they've used that product for at least three months. So it's not somebody that's binned it on the first day through lack of trying. Anyway, catch you soon, YouTube.